Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Moor Lane, the absolute pinnacle of the season. It is, of course, the Northern Premier League playoff final. Salford City versus Workington AFC. What's absolutely fabulous day it is for it as well. Bright, sunny, massive crowd here at Moor Lane. On certain clearances, overhit goal kicks and underhit free kicks already. Mitchell clearing it upfield. O'Halloran gets his head on it. It's uh, played back forward by Tillian, looking for Arneson. As Allison picks up now, 25 yards from goal down the middle, trying to get past Halson. He can't do his good marking, although he picks out ball through to Arneson. Arneson still going, brings it into the left hand side. It's a shot. Uh, comes off, Evan Gunn's going to be a corner for Workington, the first of the game. Going to be the in swing coming in from the far side. A few sets back, it's a good one in right into the middle. Ball comes across, it's in. Diverted in from Gareth Arneson. Referee's giving it as well. Workington have the lead. Five minutes gone here. Salford City nil, Workington one. And have they got it in them again? Well, that was inevitable. That was about to happen. Workington have set the pace straight away with the game and they've had loads of shots on target. So that was inevitable, about to happen. And great goal. And I think disappointment probably is the key word for that, isn't it, Phil? Yeah, I mean, Jake Simpson was at Stockport when I was there and uh, the one thing he was always good at was delivery. He, you know, he probably didn't play as well as he wanted to, but his delivery was never in question. That was a hell of a ball in. And it was poor defending that led to the, the corner kick in the first place. Um, and to be fair, there's that many bodies in the box. Once it's, it found a yellow shirt, it could end up in the net and it has done. So it looks like it's going to be Webber though, curls one towards far post, it's over the bar, not too far over, but uh, not enough to trouble Alex Mitchell in the goal, Gums with the chance, with throw on the right hand side, into Hume, Hume trying to get into Stockforth, but fussing from Workington, and McGee trying to bring it clear, he's tackled by Stockforth, it's a dangerous challenge back in, Stockforth got it back to Gums though, Gums, lovely ball over the top for Johnston, he's kept in, got the right side of his man, sits into Hume, Hume plays the space, shoots, it's a good save by Alex Mitchell, it's near post, good initiative from Jordan Hume, instinct just to turn and shoot, knew where the goal was, but an equally good save from Mitchell. Pool with the end swing and it comes towards near post, flick on it from O'Halloran, equaliser, there's the goal, he's equalised before a big important goal for Salford, in the FA Cup, second round against Hartlepool, he's done it again against Workington and it's another former Stockport county man, Phil Brennan. He's also a good mate of mine, that was a great header from Stevie, um, it did deserve it because that turn from Jordan Hume alone was worth a goal, um, good save. Great delivery. This game is all about delivery so far, isn't it? Great corners from both teams. To working to but just bring it back to Danny Webber. I mean, for his age, 34, he scored 20 goals this season. He's joint top scorer for Salford, nearly 100 appearances. And he's still thinking about retiring. Allison comes in, no! Completely free and unmarked it about post. Gareth Arneson signing in. And now to nothing working to take the lead again. And just completely lazy at the back from Salford. Hot on the sun in plenty of space on this near side. O'Halloran into Weber. Weber brings it down. Simpson gets foot footing but gives it away to O'Halloran. O'Halloran into Johnston. Johnston out to the left hand side. Uh, brought down by um, number eight, Rob Wilson. And it's going to be another free kick for Salford in that dangerous position. James Paul taking control of this one, left foot goes for goal, it's a good one, it was dipping under the bar towards the far post but Alex Mitchell got behind it well and got two gloves to it to keep that one out. Priestley steps up, looping into the box, House and gets his head on it, going for Hume, comes out to Johnson on the edge of the box, takes the shot though, uh, deflects it, comes out to Burton, Burton waits into the far post, Billy Priestley puts it across, what a save from Alex Mitchell to claw that off the line from underneath the bar as Priestley's header was going for the far post and that, I think Salford are in disbelief how that didn't go in. Tiff, what a save. That was a brilliant save by Workington. That really should have been a goal for Salford. James Poole looking to put the right to the ring to the box. Workington lining up at the top there. They're dropping off now. Poole, it's a good one. Right into the middle. Halston just for it comes Priestley. Again, head across the box. Halston going in for it. Can't quite. 
align his body and get the shot in. And the referee's uh, actually given a free kick against Housen. There was absolutely no foul there. And then Gums come and say it's one he's got. It's a light long throw and it goes short to Johnson though. Johnson lining up the cross. Gets in. It's a good one to the far post. Paul brings it down out towards the edge of the box. Still going with it, Paul brings in Gums on the right hand side, it's well spotted, Gums checks back in, Johnson again crosses the ball in, Hume was shoved down in the back there maybe is uh, working to turn it clearer, only as far as Johnson, plays 1-2 with Burton, again soft coming forward, gets out to Gums, Gums being held up at the moment by two men, he tries to take it down the wing, past Smith, still got it, Gums, he's there at the byline, cuts in again, he's got to be careful not to overdo it, Burton for support, gets crossed and it's a good one, Weber rose for it, it's cleared again by Workington, only as far as Johnson, Johnson overhits his ball back in, O'Halloran can't quite get on it and it's going to be a throw in for Workington, flicks on Priestley coming across to beat Arneson to this one, getting it forward, but it's given away again by Workington, Burton turns well, Carmen collects it, plays it back to Priestley, Priestley can play this ball over top, taking on Paul Shares, Paul goes to try himself, just wide to the far post, great initiative from Paul, he took it well on his uh, shoulder, turned, tried to loop it over Mitchell, but he couldn't quite nestle it in at the far post. Um, Stephen O'Halloran picks up though, plays into Weber on the left hand side now. Weber with the cross in, it's well cleared by Smith, only as far as Weber bringing uh, Gums into the game from right back. So for trying to camp themselves in the working scenario. Gums, it's a great ball in! Uh, Mitchell caught it. It's uh, going to be a free kick. It was perfect ball in from Gums. It was actually going into the top corner. Mitchell caught it and uh, referees now giving him a free kick after Percy bundled into him. What a goal that would have been from the uh, Tramir Loney though. Well, trying to hold on to that lead. They know that they threw it away against Blythe on Tuesday. It's uh, Mitchell picking out on Allison. Uh, gives the ball away to O'Halloran. O'Halloran giving the ball away. And it's played back over the top by Workington. And Allison bearing down on goal now. Allison goes to shot straight down Jay Lynch's throat. It was well positioned to close off the angle there. And it's a good save from the Salford keeper. Gets going immediately. Hume heads on from Lynch's free kick. That would have been the perfect route one. He couldn't quite direct it on target. And this game's now going end to end. And the fourth official having a word with Derek Townsley. Asking him to uh, remain within his area. Paul in the middle of the pitch. Great ball out to the left hand side to pick out Stephen O'Halloran. Salford streaming forward as they can now. O'Halloran goes inside it into the box. Poor cross again. Only comes to pass Hume. Hume shot low. It's weak. Cleared by Workington out to this near side for a throw in. Priestley getting ready to take the throw in. Meanwhile, looping towards the near post. Said it, uh, Halloran challenged for it. Comes out to Paul on the edge. Paul putting it straight back in. Cleared again by Workington. Paul challenging Hebson on the edge of the box. Start fourth gets out to Johnson though. Johnson crossing. Good one. It's my post. Oh, Halloran gets his head on it. He's gone by to far post. How's he missed it? Uh, take it quickly, came off Workington, going to be a corner for Salford, 12 minutes to go, Workington still leading 2-1, but Salford in the ascendant seas, they have been for most of the half, Clark into a new corner, and Priestley scores, Salford 2, Workington 2, it was a master of time, and there it is, the equaliser, Billy Priestley, and what a vital goal that could be. Tiffany. That was definitely deserved by Salford. Amazing. They've had far more chances in that second half than Workington. All they needed to do was finish it off and it was about to happen. And that was a brilliant goal by Priestley. Absolutely amazing. And Salford definitely deserved that. They had so many shots on target and they just finished it off. And this is great for Salford now. They just need to keep and continue this momentum, continue this pace and keep getting the ball in the box. And be a throw for the visitors. Sam Smith going to take this one in front of his manager, Derek Townsley. Well, I imagine scratching his head, although he must have seen that one coming with the pressure. Salford were putting on. Allison slight hits the handball as he controlled that. Uh, three kicks gone against Salford, though. Housen for holding on to the Workington forwards to try and put Simpson off. It's a good delivery to the back post. Almost going straight through. Cleared by Gums. Cleared to get off the line by Housen. Comes back in. Flick on it. Over the bar. Plenty of action here. And I think Towsley has had a scratch his head wondering how 
Salford level has now scratched his head. Why work it tonight to head again? Almost everyone up for Salford. Almost everyone back for Workington. Priestley again gets it in. Mitchell Flux has to touch it. It's in. June touches it in the near post. Oh my lord! It's going to go up here. It can't go in. It's a great saving issue by Mitchell. Who flats it in? James Halson headed it off the post. Hume got the touch in at the near post. And is that going to be heartbreak for Workington? 86 minutes. Salford 63. Workington 2. Oh my lord. Tip. Salford have sealed the deal now. That was brilliant football. Paul and Pems have been such good players for this team today. And they've really wanted it. And they have played a perfect game. This is what they needed now for three more minutes at the end of the game. And they are going to get promoted. This is brilliant for Salford. And this is it, the end of the season. Salford City leading 3-2 on the verge of promotion to the National League North. It's just a matter when the referees wait full time. There's the whistle. Salford City full time are going up to the National League North. There is a pitch in measure as we thought. And oh my words, I don't think there were words. I don't know what to say. Salford City 3 from the jaws of defeat they claim this. So for three, working to two, the mass winner is Jordan Hume. Phil. Well, I've been holding this in from the first minute, but I was going to tell you before the game, the last time I covered a, a playoff final for Bernard and Anthony, they won the game 3 2. So I've been waiting for that scoreline all day, and uh, they deserved it. They really deserved it. They conquered the nerves. They were so nervous in the second half. It was easy for everyone to see that. Uh, it's heartbreak for Workington, but do we care? Not really. It's because Salford have deserved this for the whole season. You know, they've put this division on the map with their FA Cup run. They've played really well all season. They've had a couple of blips and they've come back like true, true champions. And for them and Darlington to go up back to back together, watch out Conference North is all I can say. And to come from behind as well in the mind that it did. I mean, half-time, we were saying Workington looking the better. They came out second half, and you were saying half-time wins games. Whatever answer Johnson and Burnham Hall have said have won that one. I mean, I, I do. I, I know the lads quite well, and I know I was talking to Bernard at length before the game, and I, I know exactly the sort of things they're going to say. The TV show shows some of what they're about. The TV show doesn't show everything they're about. They're such passionate, good, good coaching men. They know what they're talking about and they fully, fully deserve this. And that has been a pitch invasion. They said not, but I don't think you can stop anyone from encroaching the pitch, can you? I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a final at this level that's not had a pitch invasion. It's a good heart of pitch invasion. And just a final word from Tiff. Yeah, I think you're on good luck, Sean. Two commentaries, two wins. Exactly. This is absolutely unbelievable. And to say, this is non-league, but it's amazing atmosphere. And you can really feel it. The whole of Salford was behind them from start to finish. And it was just really a fairy tale ending. This is what Salford wanted. They've worked so, so hard from it. From the moment they started, to, and at the end, they deserve that final goal. And you could feel it. You could feel it. The last few minutes was just magic. It was absolutely Salford played. They gave everything they could and they've left it all on the pitch and this is thoroughly deserved by Salford and what a playoff final it was victory from the Jaws in defeat two promotions in two seasons for Salford City will be going up with Darlington what matches there are in store next season Salford FC Curzon Stockport Darlington again stay with British Celtic I mean the conference is going to be the one next season